our Benjamin Buttons got a really cool gift for Father's Day this year. He got his own chill lounge. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I put this look together and how I created this DIY dry bar in just a few simple steps. We had exactly four weeks to get it all done, so I'm going to show you step by step how I did it, and I'll give you a tour in the end. At the Millionaire House. This video is brought to you by New Air. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Millionaire House. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but I'm excited about this one today. For Benjamin Buttons for Father's Day, we decided to give him his own chill lounge. So we did a DIY dry bar. I completely redesigned this room from ceiling to floor, and I'm going to take you on a tour today. Then at the end of the video, I'll give you a little bit of back info on where I've been and what's been going on here. So stick around. As you can see, this has become like a drop off room for everything, projects that haven't been finished, things that I'm doing in other bedrooms. It's just, it's a mess, so this all needs to be cleaned out. Just a mess. Um, before I can get started. So here we go. The inspiration for this room came from another YouTuber named Jeremy Sears. If you don't already know who he is, he's got a really cool channel dedicated to all things beards and whiskey and cigars. And I really loved what he did in his whiskey room. And so I was inspired to try to do something similar here in our own home. In Florida, we don't have basements, so in order to create that really moody, rich look, I decided to go with the darker paint from ceiling all the way to the floors. And it's by Bear, it's called Chimney, and it's perfect. Once I got that figured out, I decided to add in some trim. Normally, Benjamin Buttons is the one that does all the cuts on trim, but we were surprising him and we only had a few weeks and I had to do it all myself. So I decided to try foam trim. And I will tell you, I was not disappointed. If you are trying to do crown molding by yourself, I highly recommend you try this product. It was really easy to install. I would definitely use it again. And it really helped me save on budget. So I had someone come in to give me a quote on regular crown molding and it was gonna cost almost $800 for this 12 by 11 room. So there's just no way I could justify that. The price of lumber has really skyrocketed and I had no idea. So I tried this, I would use it again. I'll link the name of the company below. They ship the product out very quickly and it's very affordable. I was able to do this entire room for about $150. Next was the picture frame molding. This was harder. I tried these miterless edges because I didn't want to have to make cuts, but basically when they came in, they were smaller than the rest of the molding. And then I went back and read the reviews and it wasn't like a fluke. It's just how they send the product out. So then you have to try to fill in the seams and it, it really did turn into a mess. You guys, um, after several attempts and a few bottles of wine, I got through it, but I do not recommend trying it this way. Um, if you can just make the cuts or have them make the cuts at your your local um, home improvement store, I would go about it that way for sure. Okay, today is the day for the floors. And this room will be almost done. I still have a lot of touch up work to do. I need to finish the windows, I need to finish the baseboards and the closet. This door is coming off. This is going to be a French door. That door needs to be painted. But yeah, we're almost there. I did the crown molding. I did the trim. So there's supposed to be three more um, picture frame boxes on the bottom, but um, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to try to find some better end pieces. I'm going to cut that piece of baseboard off once they're done with the floors um, so we can secure the dry bar back there. Yay, I hope you loves it. 
Next up was the flooring. I did not lay the flooring myself. I went through a company called Twin Brothers Flooring of Lutes. And let me tell you guys, they are amazing. They're a family-owned company, a small business here in Tampa Bay. So if you're looking for some help with flooring, I highly recommend giving them a call. They help me from start to finish, and they have great customer service. Next, it was time to move on to the main event, which is a dry bar area. It was so easy to put together, thanks to my friends at New Air. They sent me this really cool 24-inch built-in dual-zone beverage fridge. And I basically used that, and I anchored either side of it with 12-inch kitchen cabinets. I painted the cabinets to match the rest of the walls. And for the top of the built-in, I just used a piece of butcher block that I found um, at, it was either Home Depot or Lowe's, but they come in several different sizes. The wood is absolutely beautiful. I stained it and voila, a dry bar. Now, let me tell you about this really cool beverage fridge. As I mentioned earlier, this is the New Air 24 inch built-in dual zone 18 and 58 can wine and beverage fridge. It has two cooling zones separated by individually operated French doors so you can keep your beers really cold and you can keep your wines at the right temperature as well. Each door comes with a lock and key if you need to lock up your beverages and this unit can stand alone or be used as a built-in like you see here. Above the dry bar, I installed some shelving for his growing whiskey collection and some of the accessories that he needs for drinks like glasses, etc. I found the iron bars online. I'll link them for you in the description box. And the wood planks just came from my local Home Depot and I stained them. I also added some LED strip lighting to the back pieces of the wood to help it to reflect off the wall a little bit and really give it just that super cool edge. And then I had uh, some recessed lighting installed with a dimmer. So see how cool it looks at night? Okay, so I'm excited to give you this tour. We still have a few finishing touches to make, but we're far enough along where you can see how I styled the room. So on the first wall, I added in a record player. That was one of his Father's Day gifts. I added in an Audio Technica. It's a really cool starter record player. Um, it has Bluetooth capability and a start and stop button. So I opted not to add in the hard speakers. It's playing through our sound bar, but it still sounds amazing. But he can easily change that if he wants to. Another really neat part of the gift was mixing in some new vinyl with my mom's old vinyl. I inherited most of her albums and uh, we have been having a really good time listening to them. Every chill lounge needs really comfortable seating, right? So I found these beautiful oversized leather tufted seats online. I'll link them for you. And then I ran across this table at Home Goods and it was a perfect fit. I added in some extra lighting for him and a dark brown coffee table where he can sit his drinks and snacks if he wants to. I tried to incorporate lots of sentimental pieces into the room. So this book, The African Americans of Martha's Vineyard, is cool because his grandfather is featured in it. He also loves really dope watches, so I found this coffee table book at Home Goods, and it was the perfect accent for the bottom of the table. For the wall art, I have these custom maps done of different parts of Martha's Vineyard, which is where my husband's family is from. I ordered them before I did the picture frame molding, so they're a little small for the area, but I plan to frame them out to make them fit. At the top of the dry bar, I added a vintage shot of his grandfather's old building on the island. And then as another surprise, I tried to add to his whiskey collection. This room was just full of little gifts inside of the big gift, and he can enjoy this for a really long time. To finish things off on the final wall, I added this African skull because it looked really cool in Jeremy's video. And then this is his grandfather's uh, bow, award-winning bow. 
And finally, I had a TV and soundbar installed. I still need to change out the door to a French door, but here is a look at the before of our old spare, really junk room. This was the last time he saw the room before the reveal. So I'm gonna try to share a little bit of the reveal with you. We had music playing, so I have to cut out most of the sound, but he was so excited. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It was so awesome. It really took him a while to take it all in. The wall art hadn't arrived yet, but we were still excited to present the room to him. It's also been really hard to get him out of this space too, but we're so glad he's loving it. So did you like it? He loves it so much. He's been in this room pretty much every day since Father's Day. And uh, if you got some ideas or if you were inspired in some way, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel when you do that. And it helps the YouTube algorithm figure out if this is a good video for others who, be, who may be looking to do a project like this. So it's a big support when you do that. So if you guys have been following for a while, you know that I lost my father in November, right before Christmas. And I am basically still just dealing with that. I haven't really felt inspired to put out content, still going through the, the normal emotions of losing a loved one. And on top of that, Lola, our sweet Lola Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, passed away a, a few weeks ago as well. So that's where I've been. I've just been taking care of myself and uh, just trying to feel better. And so I'm back pretty much to feeling the way that I normally feel. And so after this room got done, we decided that we were gonna update the girl twins room because she still had all the bedroom furniture from her older sister from when she was a baby. So she's really outgrowing that furniture. She's entering into that tween stage. And so I'm gonna take you along the way as we restyle her room. So thank you all so much for your love and support. I've got some changes coming to this channel as well that I'm working on right now. And I'm already working on fall content, which you guys know is my favorite time of the year. So I'm excited to bring you um, some fresh new ideas coming up real soon. So stay tuned and stay tuned to the community tab where I will kind of announce when the, the next videos are coming out. All right. Until next time, love and peace.